I think I might be late waking him up today. I hope not. Basically, the bacon takes the longest. Everything else, not so long. Just a freaking bacon. On top of that, I also have to make sandwiches. And then just curry and salad. Salad's easy. Salad's fast. I didn't sleep. <laughs> don't ask me why. <laughs> I don't understand it. I went to bed so early. Like. 10. And I didn't sleep. I should have. I was very tired. But I didn't. I don't know when I fell asleep. It's between one and three, that's for sure. <sighs> so I'm super tired. Can't wait for my nap. So yeah. It's one of those kind of days. I gotta wake him up at 4.30. He ain't gonna like that. But I gotta... There we go. Bacon's done. Buns are done. <coughs> Eggs are almost done. And then after that, all I have to do is sandwiches, salad, and dinner for Johnny, and then his snacks, which is going to be practically the same thing as yesterday. It's going to be banana, mandarins, this and that. And then I'm done, and I can go back to bed to sleep. And then when I wake up, I have dishes. All right, here's the best part of this. Putting the tops on is my favorite part. <laughs> You have no idea how much I wish I could eat this. You don't even know. Alright, time to wake up the hubby so he can eat his breakfast. And then I'll rush around doing his lunch and dinner. Aren't they beautiful? Let it 
this cheese. Kabasa. You're so lucky, baby. Lettuce, cheese, and kabasa. It's like the most delicious sandwich I've ever seen. Mm. So, around here, we do things different. When I make Johnny's salads, I make it with field greens. And it's always organic. He likes this. It's crunchy, it's crispy, and it's delicious. So, what do you get in here? A regular, a regular, <laughs> uh, red leaf, lettuce, spinach, romaine, and, um, I believe that is it. And when I do this, I always fluff it up so that it stays nice and crispy. Otherwise, it kind of gets soggy, so you gotta fluff it. So, fluffing. Another thing I've been recently doing, which is nice because he gets uh, cucumber throughout the whole thing is I chop up the cucumber into little cubes and then I add it in there so that it's throughout the whole salad rather than just on top and he agrees it's much better this way. I usually add things like cauliflower bits and um, like coleslaw but he told me not to do that anymore. He said he likes it simple. The field greens, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and then whatever else I add on top. do I add on top? Bacon bits. Sometimes if I don't have any at home, I have to make my own from scratch with real bacon. This is real bacon too, but yeah. So I add bacon bits. Just like that. And then last but not least, the salad dressing. salad all ready to go alrighty next up dinner and here we go with the snacks we got some mandarins banana I'm gonna put in here some fruit gummies and a strawberry granola bar and now I'm going to go write his note that I usually put inside, and then it's all done. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Done. Yay!
<clears throat> I'm gonna give this to you so you can read it in and put it in your thingy majiggy and then pack up your stuff. Oh my god. Do you need any more clothes? Yeah. Apparently we're supposed to get uh, 22 pieces of new I gotta go get cheese and bananas and Lunchables, but bananas and cheese is the reason I'm going. Don't you know? Who? Not really. You didn't know? I wonder if your father wants me to make uh, fried rice. I could I definitely you make fried rice. What? I asked you a certain question and you're talking about something else. Well, I wasn't listening to you because my brain was talking. Sorry. Would it be cool for the plants to clean stuff for our That would be cool. I've told you that already. Even if we were the mushroom one. You know that colorful one? What is it called? Yeah, that one. You know I hate squash. super beans. Uh, maybe. There's a hypo mushroom? There's a hypo mushroom. That does this. The ones that make us not be able to see. Oh, right. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being one of those. They're the colors of like unicorns. I like them.
Who? A, a weed? A weed. Yeah. It's so hot, man. I'm sweating. So glad I didn't bring a sweater or a jacket. I'm still sweating. Whew. It's hot. What? I don't like heat. The flight of this week. Such extreme weather. It was so cold. Now it's so hot. Yeah. What? What? What flight What flight did? Give me the receipt. <laughs> they were playing with the receipt. But yeah. We just heading home from No Frills now. I got a bunch of stuff for the next couple of days. I might have to go back though because usually I have to get like lettuce or something. But yeah. The lab requisition for me to go get my blood work done because the hospital sent over the stuff uh, from that night when I went in because my shoulder popped out of place. And when I booked the appointment, I told him in the description that I was feeling weaker and I have chronic fatigue and things of this nature. So um, I told him I switched meal replacements because there was no boost anywhere to be found. And so I had to switch to Ensure. And since I have the last two months, I've been feeling way more lethargic, like brain fog like really bad fatigue even migraines and so he said yeah there it might be an iron deficiency so i'm gonna send you i'm like okay good so i'm taking a small break it's hot i'm sweating taking a coffee break after cleaning that and behind that and all of that next this and then oops, that and then those oh yeah i did those too now it's this turn there there and there then I got to do this side. There, there, and here. Almost done. At least the, all the dishes are gone. Look at that. I did a good job. Just got to keep it up. I also organized this area much better coming into the kitchen. Uh, yeah. Then I just gotta organize all this stuff. Since the kids aren't sick anymore, I can put all the medicine back. That's right. Kids aren't sick anymore. So, I healed them by the grace of God and the wisdom that He gave me to give them elderberry syrup a lot antioxidants like um dragon fruit mandarins bananas red pepper cucumber flush i flush their system 
and now they're better. They're still gonna have some chicken noodle soup tonight for dinner uh, because they're, they're, they're not exactly eating as much as they were before. So I'm gonna give them some chicken noodle soup and maybe, you know, do some gut healing. And then, um, yeah, I gotta wash my hands. I was using alcoholic disinfectant wipes. My hands are dry. They don't feel nice. I gotta wash my hands. And then put some lotion on. <sighs> and then I gotta get to baking. After all the cleaning, baking time. I'm excited. I like baking. You guys know this. You guys know. <sighs> but while I'm taking a break, who? Anyway, while we're taking this break, it's time for the rosary. Rosary. Hello and welcome to Hallow's Daily Mass Readings. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all guilt. Accept that which is good, and we will offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. We will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the forests of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like that of Lebanon. They shall again live beneath my shadow. They shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fragrance shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. Your faithfulness comes from me. Those who are wise understand these things. Those who are discerning know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. Psalm 81 I relieved your shoulder of the burden. Your hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Selah. Hear, O my people, while I admonish you. O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not bow down to a foreign God. I am the Lord your God who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel would not submit to me. Then I would quickly subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another. And seeing that Jesus answered them well, he asked him, Which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, 
The Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other, and to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, y'all. I did it. All of it. I cleaned the cupboards, the microwave, which was hard, y'all. The microwave alone was difficult. I did these cupboards, did those in the drawer, that, the stove, as you can see, it's much nicer now. There's no stains. These cupboards, the fridge, and the handles. I did these cupboards, the dishwasher, and those cupboards. And then I also did come on with me the wall because sometimes the kids make a mess on the side wall here with their fingers so I did the wall I did the wall the wall the wall the wall the wall the wall and the wall because they always do dirty fingerprints from running around the house so I did it I did it now I have to do is put away the dishes dump the curry and I'll wait to do that pot tomorrow tonight for dinner they're gonna have rice and whatever on top I'll give them furukake on top so rice and furukake and uh yeah so i'm gonna put away the sanitary wipes because that's what i use for the grease from the splashing of the bacon grease all over the place so currently i'm making croissants and i'm rolling them up with um three ingredients bacon bits onion flakes and uh, garlic salt or garlic powder. When they come out, I'm going to place them on the rack here. And then I'm going to, you know, brush on some butter and then chives. Some will have chives, some will have um, just butter and... Um, Black pepper, probably. Yeah. Delicious. They're going to be so scrumptious. And I have a timer going. And then after I'm done and they're all on the rack, you will, I know, cooling down and whatnot. I have to then put them inside of a container so that they stay. Yeah. I shall just use the cake dish. I'll just put them in the cake dish. I'll pull it over onto the counter here for now. And then it'll be there with the buns and biscuits and stuff in it. Then tomorrow, because I don't have any more cleaning to do now that I've done all the cleaning, Tomorrow, I can finally bake cookies, which was my plan for today, but then I got sidetracked, and then I wanted to do this because, well, you know, they're going to have chicken noodle soup, and I want them to have something to dip in it, so, yeah. 
Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Look at them. They're gorgeous. Now I have to get um tongs and move them gently. Now I'm gonna butter them and on half of them will be chives and on half will be dill weed. And here they are now, all buttered and seasoned up. Woo! They look so good and they smell so good. All right, I'm on to the next batch and I gotta move them. <sighs> it's gonna be a lovely day. Lovely, lovely day. So, <laughs> I'm uh, on the second batch now, and then I have the country style bi biscuits to go. And in the country style biscuits, what I'm going to do is similar with what I'm doing with the um, croissants, except I'm going to add cheese on top. So I'm going to split the, uh, the country style biscuits, right? in half and then I'm going to um, put inside of them the um, what you would call it um, garlic powder onion flakes bacon bits and then put it the, the thing on top of it then sprinkle just a tiny bit of then I'm going to sprinkle a tiny bit of cheese on top and then pop it in the oven for however long they're supposed to be in there. And yeah. And then when they come out, while the cheese is still bubbly, half are going to have chives and half are going to have dill weed. Man, my family's going to eat so good. Next I have to do is get that container thing down and the lid for it. So I can put them all in there for now, on the counter, right there, be perfect place for it. After I clean up the mess, of course. So I'll put everything on a plate first, then I'll clean up my mess, then I'll put the them inside of the container, put the lid on top so that they stay nice and fresh, and put it on the counter. And then, um, and then clean up my mess over here because there's like butter and chives and dill weed all over the place over there. So yeah, I gotta clean that up. And then tomorrow, after Johnny gets home from work, I have to wash my hair for Sunday because Sunday is the second scrutiny. I love this hair color. It totally does suit me. Light auburn. I was actually born with this, a similar hair color. It was like um, a bright orangish red color like this. Golden in the sun though. I saw a baby picture of me with hair like that in a, in a, a car seat. My fingers are feeling a lot better now since I've been playing with dough. You know, dough always makes your fingers soft, so. How long do I have? I have four and a half minutes left, and then I have to pull those out, put, put them on the rack, butter them, chive them up, dill weed them up, and then uh, place them on the plate later. Uh, then I have to turn up the heat to 400 for the country salt biscuits. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then after I'm done all of that and cleaning and putting them away, then it's time for tea. Tea. And then I have to also make the chicken noodle soup for the boys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some rice into a bowl, chicken noodle soup into the bowl with it, and futakake on top. And then they're gonna eat that for dinner with one of the buns. They can choose whichever one. And yeah, I think that would be good. Don't you think? Oh, it's just so gorgeous. Where has this hair color been all my life? I should have done this the whole time. Chasing after red hair, and here it is in the most beautiful sense of the word of Auburn. Oh, so gorgeous. My hair is soft. That's why I'm constantly touching it, twirling it so soft. So soft. I take good care of my hair. Even though I dye it, I take good care of it. I put like deep conditioner, that leave in conditioner. Um, I put on a special oil to repair any damage from coloring and uh, scalp sprays for repairing damage from. Uh, coloring and um, another spray for natural curls and then my uh, soft and silky spray which makes it soft and that's why it's so silky and soft I have a minute 40 seconds left I gotta stand up after it gets down to 30 seconds yep once it gets down to 30 seconds I gotta stand up just to pull it out we're almost there. <sighs> I don't know how long the country saw biscuits have to go in for. But I'm sure I'll be able to set the timer for it perfectly. This watch is amazing, by the way. I don't wear it all the time. Actually, I didn't wear it for over a year. But, yeah decided to wear it again because I need it especially right now but yeah I'll tell you guys something interesting after I'm done baking if I can remember you guys will find it hilarious I did and awesome because God is good second batch done now I'm on to the country style biscuits which are now in cheese on top and everything Ooh, they're gonna be so good okay now I just have to transfer all of these things into that thing now then I can have the rack for the um, biscuits to cool down until I can move them and then I'll move them and then I'll clean up my mess from under the rack and then I'll do the dishes a bit later after I have some aspirin because my back, my back, aspirin, my back. Okay, uh, I'm going to go do that container thing now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right guys, it's that time of evening again when we say goodnight and I go to bed. So I'm gonna say goodnight, brush my teeth, say my evening prayers, and then it's off to bed, bye, I go. And every night I braid my hair because I like to sleep with my hair braided. So, it's just a new thing I've been doing. Uh, I can't wait till you guys see what I'm making tomorrow morning for breakfast. I haven't said anything because it's a surprise. 
I didn't want anyone to know until I'm doing it. So I'll see you in the morning and we'll be doing something amazing. Okay, good night.